हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंटीग्रेटर दैट इज वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एन ओपम लेट्स एगेन इंटीग्रेटर एन इंटीग्रेटर इज ए सर्किट दैट परफॉर्म्स मैथमेटिकल इंटीग्रेशन बाय यूजिंग दैट इंटीग्रेटर सर्किट वी परफॉर्म वन ऑफ द ऑपरेशन इन मैथमेटिक्स दैट वन इज इंटीग्रेशन वी कैन क्रिएट दैट इंटीग्रेटर सर्किट बाय यूजिंग एन ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर दैट इज ओ पम्प लेट वी कंसिडर एन ओ पम्प इट हेज टू टर्मिनल्स पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव नॉन इन्वर्टिंग विथ पोटेंशियल भी वन नेगेटिव इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल विथ पोटेंशियल भी टू आउटपुट भी ओ द टर्मिनल इज ग्राउंडेड एंड वी प्रोवाइड सिग्नल थ्रू दैट ऑफ नेगेटिव टर्मिनल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड द इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल सिग्नल भी एस थ्रू दैट ऑफ ए रेजिस्टर हमिंग रेजिस्टेंस आर इन दैट ऑफ फीडबैक नेटवर्क वी यूज ए कैपेसिटर हैविंग कैपेसिटेंस सी so current from that of signal voltage across that of r let i and that current is divided at that of node g through that of op amp through that of capacitor having capacitance c let through that of op amp this i b through that of capacitor let uh, i c now we can apply kirchhoff's current law at that of node g applying kirchhoff's current law at node g करेन्ट इन इज इक्वाल टू करेन्ट आउट इन करेन्ट टू दैट अफ नोड आई आउट करेन्ट फ्रम दैट अफ नोड आई सी प्लस आई वि फर एन आइडियल ओ पम्प इट प्रोवाइड्स इनफाइट इनपुट इनपिडेंस देर फोर द करेन्ट Across that of op amp will be zero, no current through that of op amp. So I is equal to I C. Now I current across that of resistor R. It is resistance R. Next potential difference across that of resistor. It is Vs to V2, Vs to V2. We use Ohm's law here. Current is equal to potential difference divided by resistance. Next, current across that of capacitor having capacitance C. The expression is rate of change of charge dQ by dT, where Q the charge on capacitor and q is equal to c v that is capacitance into 
potential difference capacitance into potential difference across that of capacitor or V s minus V 2 divided by R is equal to D by D T of capacitance into potential difference here the potential difference from V 2 to V o is V 2 minus V o Now, we apply the concept of virtual ground. From virtual ground concept, if uh, that terminal is grounded, then obviously this terminal potential will be same to that of that terminal potential and it will be 0. From the concept of virtual ground potential at non inverting terminal is same as the potential at that inverting terminal which is grounded as 0. In place of V 2 we substitute 0. So, V s divided by R is equal to d by d t of c minus v 0 or v s divided by r is equal to minus c d v 0 by d t or v s divided by R c minus d v 0 by d t or d v 0 is equal to minus 1 by R c v s d t R and c are constant. So, the value of V o is evaluated by integrating with proper limit integrating both sides by using proper limits. d v 0 from potential 0 to v 0 is equal to minus 1 by R c here v s d t that from time 0 to t 0 to t therefore, differentiation of d v 0 as v 0 using upper limit and uh, lower limit the result will be V 0 is equal to minus 1 by R c integration over V s d t 0 to t. So, the output voltage is now some multipliers and the integration of that of input signal. So, the output voltage therefore, the output voltage is the integral of the input signal input signal voltage with inversion and scale multiplier of 1 by 
RC. Therefore, the output voltage is directly proportional to the integration of input signal with respect to T. Here we take the inverse. The output voltage is the integral of the input signal voltage with inversion and the scale multiplier of 1 by RC. Negative side, as we provide that signal across that of inverting terminal. So, at output we obtain negative side. Here, with the help of this video lecture, we understand how to create an integrator circuit by using an operational amplifier that is op amp. Mathematically, we show what be the output voltage and it indicates the output voltage is the integral of the input signal voltage with inversion and a scale multiplier of 1 divided by RC means that output voltage is directly proportional to the integration of that of input signal with respect to time. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.